Cnidarians are classified into four main groups, which include Cubozoa, Anthozoa, Hydrozoa, and Scyphozoa. Box jellies fall into the Cubozoa class. Sea anemones, corals, and sea pens fall under the Anthozoa class. Hydra and the Portuguese man of war fall into the Hydrozoa class, and jellyfish like the moon jelly and the brown sea nettle jelly fall into the Scyphozoa class. Scyphozoa jellyfish are known as the true jellies. They have radial symmetry and a simple nerve net system. They can range in diameter from 2 centimeters to 2 meters. Cyphozoan jellyfish live in every ocean in the world. Most live in the surface depths of the ocean near the shoreline, thriving in waters with abundant amounts of plankton and algae to feed on. These jellies will also feed on small fish, larvae, and other jellies. When catching their prey, they use their nematocysts located in their tentacles to sting their prey and capture them. After their prey is caught, they use their tentacles to draw their food into their mouths. Once the prey has gone through the mouth, it enters the gastrovascular cavity. In the gastrovascular cavity, the food is digested by enzymes. When the food is finished digesting, the waste then exits the jelly through the anus, which is also the mouth. Along with using their nematocysts to catch prey, they use their stinging cells to protect them from their predators like the tuna, shark, and the sea turtle. Unfortunately for the jellyfish, their nematocytes aren't very effective on most sea turtles because of their protective shell. Jellyfish can reproduce both sexually and asexually. When a jellyfish is a mature adult, it is called a medusa. It is in the medusa stage that a jelly reproduces sexually. A female jellyfish will release her eggs and the male jellyfish will release his sperm. When the egg and sperm meet, the egg becomes fertilized and creates a zygote. The zygote turns into larva, which will drift around the ocean until it lands on substrate and attaches itself, becoming sessile. The larva then forms into a polyp, and this is when the asexual reproduction stage occurs. The polyp will grow tentacles and begin to bud by releasing juvenile medusas. When these juvenile medusas reach a mature age, they will reproduce sexually and begin the cycle again. Jellyfish populations are increasing around the world, creating problems. Their populations are increasing because their natural predators are decreasing. Bluefin tuna have been overfished almost to the point of extinction. Sea turtles, particularly leatherbacks and loggerheads, are also caught, but mainly they are suffocating on all the plastic bags polluting the ocean. The climate change and warming waters are also a threat. The jellyfish are being pushed into shallow waters and onto the beaches, creating a dangerous environment for people who are out to have a beach day. Research is being done in Japan that studies the effects that jellyfish have on rice when used as a fertilizer. Dried jellies are used instead of chemical fertilizer. The studies show that the jellyfish fertilizer is not only beneficial in producing more rice and less weeds, but also helps keep the jelly population under control.